blade and quill. Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you a few more tricks that you can use in Krita to animate anything you want. In this uh, tutorial, I will attempt to animate this picture and uh, make it uh, come to life. Let's get started. Click F2 and uh, rename your layer. Grab your lasso tool. In the Tool Options Docker, the Lasso tool by default is set to Replace. Click on the action button Add. This will allow you to add to your selection if you missed a few areas. Now take your time and select the waterfall. Copy the selection to a new layer. Now undo the selection. We are going to clean up the edges of the selection. Turn off the photographs layer. Grab the freehand brush. Click on Choose a Brush Preset. Open the tag called Texture. Now select the brush called Texture Big. Click anywhere on the interface to get out of the Brush Presets menu. Change the size of your brush. Activate the eraser. Now you can clean up the edges uh, all around the waterfall. If you look at this uh, area, you can see right away that uh, it will make our animation look ugly. We need to fix that. <laughs> Click uh, back on the Choose Brush Preset icon. Make sure that the All tag is selected. In the search bar type Clone. With the Ctrl key on your keyboard, select the source you want to copy, then paint as you would usually do to clone the source to a different area. Repeat the process as many times as needed. When done cloning, grab back your textured brush. Now that you have the brush back, undo the eraser as we will use this brush later to paint some mist at the bottom of the waterfall. And uh, let's not forget uh, to turn back on uh, the photograph layer before to uh, go any further. Grab your personalized uh, animation workspace. Click anywhere on the interface to get out of the workspace menu. Rename the layer that contains our waterfall selection. Duplicate the layer. Holding the Shift key on your keyboard, select both layers and create a group. Click on the top layer to make it active. Lock the alphas. This way we have now a clipping mask. Go to the timeline and click on the very first square frame. Right click. Usually here when you start an animation from scratch, you would select the option Create Blank Frame in the pop-up menu. 
However, since we already have a picture on the layer, we are going to select the Create a Duplicate Frame instead. Our layer is now an animation layer. Click on the next square frame, right click and select Create Duplicate Frame again. Grab the Transform Tool. In the Tool Options Docker, click on this button. Now grab the bottom of the Transform box and drag it down. This will stretch your image. Since we have created a clipping mask earlier, the stretch is only going to happen within the limits of our selection. <laughs> That's pretty neat, right? Click Enter to apply the changes. Let's do one more frame together. Click on the next square frame. Right click and select Create Duplicate Frame. Since the Transform tool is still activated, just click anywhere on the picture and the Transform box will reappear. Stretch the image down again and click Enter to apply the changes. Repeat the same process and do as many frames as you can. When you have enough frames, go to the Animation Settings menu. You want to tell Krita where your animation ends. For us, it's 10. And while you're there, change the frame rate as well. The default one is too high, I'll type 3 for now. Because we stretched the image down several times, we disrupted the top of the waterfall. We need to fix that. Go frame by frame and drag the transform box up to realign the top of the waterfall. Click on the very first frame, go to the Animation Settings menu, hit play. Back to the Animation Settings menu, I want you to test different values and see what you like the most. Uh, do you want your water to run uh, fast or slow? Let's create a new layer above the group. Grab your freehand brush. Make sure the white color is active. Turn off the pen pressure button. Modify the size, opacity and flow as needed. Decrease the layer's opacity. Now start painting some mist at the bottom of the waterfall. Click on the first square frame, right click. Since we already have something on the frame, we painted the mist, select Create Duplicate Frame. Our layer is now in the animated mode. 
right away click on the next frame right click and uh, select create a duplicate frame again with your brush uh, paint uh, more mist uh, and uh, try to create uh, some movement as you go repeat the process for all the other frames Go to File, select Render Animation. Make sure that you are in the Video section. Leave this alone. In the Render drop-down menu, choose GIF Image. Finally, click on the Video Location Folders icon to find a place where you want to save your new animation. Click OK when you are done. Depending on the strength of your computer and the graphic card, the rendering may take a few seconds to a few minutes. And we are done for today. As you can see, animating a picture can be fun. I know it's not perfect and I am sure that there are better ways to do this. But this channel is not about training you to become a professional animator. I am here to show you how to have fun and I really hope I succeeded. That said, I will see you on the next tutorial. Have fun animating. Au revoir et à bientôt.